So nursing care, um, some of the interventions that you would include here is assessing the heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure um, for the S3 and S4 gallops or murmurs. If the patient uh, ex experiences a decreased cardiac output, then the heart rate and the respiratory rate will increase and the blood pressure will decrease. And just as a reminder, the cardiac output is the amount of blood the heart pumps out in one minute. So if that is decreased, then the heart rate's gonna speed up trying to get fluid out because it's deficient. Um, another thing you'd wanna do is check pulses and cap refill and skin color. Um, of course, related to the decreased cardiac output, this would result in a weak and fast pulse from the increased heart rate. Um, you might also see a delayed cap refill um, and feel cold, clammy skin. You would also want to closely watch patients' response, um, looking for fatigue or confusion. The altered level of consciousness from hypoxia can result in the patient being irritable or restless. Another big nursing intervention is weighing the patient daily. And this is the most important and most accurate way of weighing because the sodium and water retention plays a big role in that. And crackles can indicate fluid buildup as well, but weighing daily is the most accurate in that sodium and water retention. Another intervention is providing rest periods, um, putting the patient in a semi or position or just elevating the head of the bed. Um, elevating the head of the bed allows for increased thoracic cavity, full descent of the diaphragm, and increased lung expansion. Um, and it also kind of take some pressure off of that stomach. Um, and decreased urine output may indicate, indicate um, a decreased cardiac output related to the fluids. Um, another nursing intervention from the hypersynodic spells or TET spells is to treat with oxygen therapy um, and put the patient in a knee to chest position or have them squat if they're old enough and to administer morphine, of course, with um, provider's orders. So the knee to chest position is interesting to me because it increases the blood flow to the lungs by increasing the systemic vac vascular resistance, and it also increases preload. Um, Another intervention is slowly picking up the baby and speaking in soothing voices and decreasing stress um, and avoiding startling to prevent or reduce crying. You would also want to provide small frequent meals. This may be easier for the baby with Tetralogy of Fallot to handle. Um, and you may also need supplemental nutrition or extra more frequent feedings to increase the calorie intake. If admitted to the hospital from a TET spell, then the doctor may start them on total parenteral nutrition. Um, and you would also want to educate the parents on support groups in the area. So some anticipated outcomes related to all these nursing interventions um, would include that the client will maintain clear lung sounds and remain free of signs of respiratory distress. Client will demonstrate improved ventilation and adequate oxygenation as evidenced by blood gas levels within normal parameters for client. The client will remain free from side effects from meds used to achieve adequate cardiac output. Um, they will maintain level of mentation and normal skin color. And it's important to, to document the normal baseline of the level of consciousness. Um, to compare it to. Um, another outcome is to demonstrate the ability to tolerate activities without dyspnea, shortness of breath, syncope, or chest pain. Um, the client should state symptoms of adverse effects of 
exercising and report onset of symptoms immediately. The client should also remain free of injuries, demonstrate efforts that decrease risk of injury. Um, and then these last two here relate more so to the parent. Um, the parent will verbalize knowledge and understanding of the illness and the parent will identify need for and seek outside support because um, caregiver role strain can be very stressful and having a child that is ill can also be very stressful so it's important to educate them on um, some support groups in their area. And that concludes the nursing care slide.